Hey, it's me, Dave Harriman, home and auto insurance broker extraordinaire, here to answer a question I get all the time about guest houses or accessory dwelling units, also known as ADUs. So basically, a separate structure that is on your property that's used for habitational purposes. Do you need to do anything special when it comes to insurance? Yes. And the way that I answer that depends on what you're doing with that unit. So let me show you a couple things that are going to make sense as I start looking at it. All right. So this is really common on all home insurance policies. You'll see this, this first big number is tied to the estimated cost to rebuild or the coverage amount to rebuild the main home. And then this other part, other structures coverage, or sometimes it's called separate structures, is a coverage amount to cover other structures, which you would just assume, oh, well, if I have that, it means I have that much for an ADU or a guest house. And the answer is maybe, but you have to go into that policy and read all the fine print under the uh, other structure or separate structure coverage to make sure that you are going to have any coverage for that ADU. And the reason that you need to make sure is because a lot of policies, when you read the fine print for when coverage applies for other structures, it only applies for other structures that are not used to derive any income whatsoever. So that means it's designed for someone who has a guest house that they let their parents stay in from time to time, or they let their friends stay in from time to time. Rent free, that part is crucial. As soon as rent is received, it's now considered an income producing property. Not a big deal. You can get a, you can solve this issue. Just don't expect your primary home insurance policy to cover it. We just need to insure that back unit on a separate policy, a policy that is designed for rental properties. And the next part of it, this really just applies to rental properties in general, is a lot of people with ADUs specifically rent them out on Airbnb or VRBO. And that raises a different issue because if you go and insure that back unit as a rental property, but you don't tell your agent that you're doing it on Airbnb or VRBO, the agent may think that you have a long-term tenant in there. And most insurance companies um, have different rules and different policy types and policy verbiage for short-term rentals versus long-term rentals. So if you're going to have a long-term tenant in there, which usually means a lease of six months or longer, um, that's one type of policy. If you're planning on having tenants in there for less than six months, most insurance carriers consider that a short-term tenant. And a lot of insurance carriers won't insure structures that are used for short-term rentals. So you need to communicate with your insurance company or your insurance agent, which hopefully is me, communicate with me. We have really good options for both. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to give me a call, send me an email. I would be happy to talk to you. Thank you.